In a world racing toward renewable energy and sustainable technology, one breakthrough is capturing global attention like never before. Imagine a car that never needs charging, never depends on gas, and never leaves you stranded at a station. A self-powered car, capable of generating its own energy as it drives, changing the very future of electric vehicles. At first, it sounds too good to be true, like something pulled straight from a science fiction novel. But today, this dream is beginning to take shape, and the auto industry is already shaken by its implications. For over a century, transportation has been chained to fuel. Gasoline powered the first wave of mobility, creating empires of oil and leaving behind massive carbon footprints. The second wave brought electric vehicles, offering cleaner energy but still facing one persistent problem, charging. Every EV owner knows the frustration of finding a charging station, waiting hours to refill, or worse, experiencing range anxiety when the battery dips low. Tesla, Nissan, Rivian, and countless others tried to solve it with bigger batteries, faster chargers, and sprawling charging networks. But none dared to imagine a car that could run entirely on its own power, without plugging in. Until now. The idea of a self-powered car sounds revolutionary, but how does it work? At its core, this new technology takes principles of renewable energy, solar, magnetic, kinetic recovery, and advanced engineering, and fuses them into a single machine. Unlike traditional EVs that store energy in large lithium-ion batteries and demand external charging, the self-powered EV is designed to harness and recycle energy continuously. That means as the wheels turn, as the car moves, as the environment interacts with it, the system replenishes itself. Instead of draining out, it refuels while in use. Skeptics immediately argue, perpetual motion machines cannot exist, physics doesn't allow it. They are right, to a point. Nothing creates energy from nothing. But here lies the difference. This isn't a perpetual motion machine. This is an advanced integration of existing technologies, pushed to their absolute limits. Think about regenerative braking, a system already used by Tesla and Toyota hybrids. Every time you brake, kinetic energy is recaptured and stored. Now, imagine expanding that principle beyond braking, embedding energy harvesters across multiple systems in the vehicle. Every vibration, every motion, every bit of sunlight is collected and turned into usable electricity. Instead of just one regenerative feature, the entire car becomes a power plant on wheels. The mastermind behind this breakthrough isn't one of the traditional auto giants. Instead, innovation is emerging from unexpected corners of the world. Africa, a continent often underestimated in the global tech race, is stepping forward with a visionary inventor challenging the old guard. Maxwell Chikambutso, an independent engineer from Zimbabwe, has long claimed to develop self-sustaining technologies that defy conventional limits. While critics dismiss him, his prototypes have caught attention. He unveiled a self-powered generator, a helicopter, and even a TV that runs without being plugged in. But his boldest claim yet, the self-powered car, has put him in direct confrontation with the trillion-dollar auto and oil industries. Imagine for a moment how disruptive this would be. If such a car were to enter mass production, oil demand would collapse. Charging networks, which companies are investing billions to build, would become obsolete overnight. Tesla's superchargers, BP's EV infrastructure, even governments pushing for EV stations would face redundancy. Car ownership would transform forever. The cost of travel would plummet since the biggest expense, fuel or charging, would vanish. Suddenly, the dream of free transportation becomes real, and entire economic systems built on energy consumption could unravel. The story of the self-powered car is not only about technology, but also about resistance. History tells us that every radical innovation faces opposition. When Nikola Tesla proposed wireless electricity, he was ridiculed. When the first electric cars appeared in the early 1900s, oil tycoons fought them into obscurity. And now, as this new invention emerges, powerful industries have every reason to block it. Already, rumors circulate of offers, buyouts, and even threats aimed at silencing the technology. Why? Because if a car no longer needs charging, what happens to the multi-billion dollar charging station market? What happens to oil refineries? What happens to car companies who rely on planned obsolescence and maintenance costs? The ripple effect is too enormous to ignore. Yet, despite opposition, curiosity spreads. Videos surface online of prototypes allegedly driving without charging. Demonstrations, though limited, 
spark heated debates. Engineers argue, analysts calculate, enthusiasts dream. Could this truly work? Or is it another overhyped vision destined to fade? For those who have witnessed the prototypes firsthand, the answer seems undeniable. Something revolutionary is at play. The global auto industry is already in chaos with the rise of EVs. Traditional automakers scramble to catch up with Tesla, while governments push bans on combustion engines. Add a self-powered car into the equation, and the race changes entirely. Companies like Toyota and Volkswagen may have to rethink their strategies overnight. Investors smell both danger and opportunity. If the first to market with such technology succeeds, they won't just dominate EVs, they'll own the future of mobility itself. But beyond the corporate battles lies a deeper story. For ordinary people, especially in developing regions, this car represents freedom. In Africa, Asia, and rural parts of the world, charging stations are rare. Gas prices skyrocket. For them, a car that powers itself means independence from failing grids, from oil imports, from endless costs. It could transform not just transportation, but entire economies. Imagine farmers transporting crops without fuel expenses, students commuting to schools in remote towns, healthcare workers reaching villages without worrying about range. The self-powered car isn't just a luxury innovation, it's a lifeline. Still, challenges remain. Mass production demand investment, infrastructure, and trust. The technology must withstand scrutiny, from independent testing to regulatory approval. And of course, skeptics remain loud, calling it impossible, a scam, a fantasy. But that skepticism might be exactly what fuels the determination of innovators. After all, every great invention, from flight to the internet, was once mocked as impossible. The question now isn't whether the self-powered car is real, but whether the world is ready for it. Ready to abandon industries built on dependency. Ready to embrace a car that offers freedom. Ready to admit that the future of energy might not lie in bigger batteries, but in smarter ways of harnessing power. The story continues, and as whispers turn into headlines, one thing becomes clear. If the self-powered car fulfills even a fraction of its promise, it will change the course of human history. No more waiting at charging stations. No more oil wars. No more range anxiety. Just limitless freedom on the road. A future where your car doesn't demand power, it creates it. This is the revolution we never expected but desperately needed. And it's already beginning.